we're not ready. I don't think we're ready. Yes, right. What's up? All right. started with this video give it a thumbs up bro o m g bro this year is going to be a crazy year first we know the xbox series x is launching holiday 2020 and sony has also confirmed that they are launching the playstation 5 sometime in 2020 Rumored to be now October before November. Time is going to tell. Also, big rumor. Pretty much just got confirmed. PlayStation 5 reveal event in February. Accidentally leaked by a um, Sony developer um, yesterday on Twitter. So stay tuned for February for a PlayStation 5 full reveal. And little old Nintendo is throwing their hat into the fray. <laughs> Rumors, big, big, big rumors are heating up that a Switch Pro is coming mid-2020 to leapfrog both Microsoft and Nintendo. But we don't buy consoles just to get consoles except for Nintendo consoles. I buy Nintendo consoles just because they're Nintendo consoles. But we also get them to play the games and... It looks like we're going to be heading towards a platform agnostic future. What do I mean? Where it doesn't matter what system you get um, next generation, particularly Nintendo, as we're about to find out, you'll be able to play your favorite Microsoft and Sony exclusives. Bro, Tom Phillips. The dude from Digital Foundry, he just dropped a major bombshell, bro. And Tom Phillips, he has connections um, in the industry. Both Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. He knows things behind the scenes. Digital Foundry, they were the um, website that correctly leaked that the Switch, they went into detail on the Switch. The exact design of the two detachable Joy-Cons, they nailed it. They got connections. Listen to what Tom Phillips tweeted out on Twitter. And it's going to be great news for you and me. And that Switch Pro's future. <coughs> Horizon on PC is a start. Told you about the Horizon Zero Dawn rumor. I mean, um, conf confirmation. But Microsoft is still a long way ahead of PlayStation making a serious move to a platform agnostic future. Argue your games are worth more than slapping in a sub, sure. But the future is everyone being able to access great games wherever they play. He continues, and then this is it. Horizon will be followed by others down the road. He's saying, this is just a start for Sony. God of War is going to be coming to PC. I think it's already coming to PC. Spider-Man will be on PC. I'm, I tell you this, bro. If you're looking to get a console next generation, get a Switch Pro <laughs> and get a PC. You'll be good. Only Nintendo ain't putting their stuff on PC. Even that yet. Because we don't know, bro. We don't know. It says, you don't need to dream too hard to guess. But Xbox is already well established launching games on PC at the same time and eager. He's saying that they're eager to explore the Nintendo Switch. Tom Phillips, a dude with a lot of industry connections, is saying Microsoft is exploring 
more games for the Nintendo Switch. Now, we already have Cuphead. Cuphead, one of the best third-party ports. I think, actually, the Switch version is better than the Xbox version. Cuphead, running on the Switch. I beat this game on my Xbox and the Switch, how much I love this game. Dope, dope, dope game. My favorite platforming game this generation, slash running gun game this generation. Cuphead is already on the Switch. Ori! <coughs> Bro! I gotta give it to Microsoft this generation. When it came to platformers, they gave us arguably the best two. One, two punch. Man, I didn't pick up Ori when it was on sale on the eShop. I'm still picking up for $19 now on the Switch. I beat this game on my Xbox. Ori and the Blind Forest. Fantastic game. Will of the Wisps is going to be lit too. I hope they make a Switch announcement. If not, I'm going to get it on my Xbox. Bro. Back to back. Ori and the Blind Forest also announced for the Switch. I think Will of the Wisps is going to eventually come on the Switch. Probably not at launch. So I'm probably just going to clear out my backlog and eventually get it when it comes to the Switch. If this one's already on the Switch. Bro. Fantastic game. This is my favorite platformer this generation game was just so good from beginning to end the challenge was there a hard game the metroid vibes unlocking new abilities to reach new areas perfect the story pulled at your heartstring platforming be beautifulness beautifulness i just made up a word that's right you come to my channel you get that kind knowledge boy But we also got even Hellblade. See, <coughs> Cuphead and Ori made sense. But Hellblade, a Senua's Sacrifice, a more graphically intense game, and the Switch port held its own. It was noticeable. The resolution was lower on the Switch. You could see that right off the bat. And so, even a more graphically intense game, Hellblade, made its way to the little old switch you know what i believe will be on that switch pro since microsoft is still eager to put their games on this see microsoft <coughs> they ain't really caring about console sales we care about console sales microsoft cares about money bro and if they know they could put their games on a system and make money in that's why they made Microsoft Game Studios. So just in case the consoles don't sell, they have a game studio that could put their games on everywhere. Sony, Nintendo, PC, everything. And they'll still be good, bro. Microsoft ain't going nowhere. Bro, do not... Oh, also, not just Senua. There are rumors that an old school Halo game could be making its way to the Nintendo Switch. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Nothing concrete, um, but there's buzzings that an old school Halo game could be coming to the Switch, which would be a win-win for Nintendo and Microsoft. Um, Nintendo gets a Halo game. An uh, old one, that'll be easy to port, easy to run on the Switch. <coughs> and Microsoft gets free advertisement for Halo Infinite. Bro, we got Banjo. Banjo and Microsoft... IP now in Super Smash Brothers. We just got the bro that cuphead skin. That was the best thing about that Smash Dar right yesterday, bro. Byleth, trash ready to trash trash trash. Um, but that cuphead skin, I'm gonna be using that, bro. Um and so there is a great solid relationship between Microsoft and Nintendo. With the Switch Pro launching set to launch mid 2020 do not be surprised if hellblade 2 the game we saw at the xbox series x um reveal that this makes its way to the switch i already know what some dudes are gonna be saying in the chat mm. I mean, when there's no way Hellblade 2 will run on the Switch. Did you see her facial expressions? Ah, uh, ah, uh, the Switch can't handle that. Bro, Microsoft already confirmed 
the game we see right here will be running on the OG Xbox, bro. The old Xbox. The Xbox that the big box that that not when I say the OG, the OG Xbox One. The first Xbox One that launched. <laughs> That the Switch is almost on par with that system. The Switch Pro, I could almost guarantee, would be at least more powerful. I'm thinking the Switch Pro is going to be around the Xbox One S level. Will be more powerful than the original Xbox One. And so, if this game is going to be running on the original Xbox One, it's going to be running on the Switch. It's going to be able to run on the Switch Pro. Do not count out. PVP just subbed while I'm recording. You got in the running for a Nintendo Switch $60 eShop code giving it away at the end of the month. Bro, this game could be coming to the Switch Pro. It'll be able to run on it. Bro, just think about it. Microsoft, they're going to be scaling their games big time. The original Xbox One, one teraflop. Xbox One, ser I mean, Xbox Series X, rumored to have 12 gig of teraflops. 12 teraflops 1 to 12 major scaling going on switch pro falls within the parameters of that scale you know it's a good game that i'm surprised is not on the switch yet that i think it could run on the og switch rare replay this is a perfect game for the switch could be announced this year we'll see bro do not be surprised if we see forza horizon um not four but <laughs> the next forza game on the switch pro bro if Fable, Fable is the perfect game for Nintendo gamers to play. If you're a Zelda fan, you're going to love Fable. But I tell you this, this news that Xbox, more Xbox games will be coming to the Switch and definitely the Switch Pro solves all my gaming problems. Last year. I've been going back and forth between the Xbox and the Switch. I'm, I'm on the Switch this year. But I've been going back and forth. But if I can get both in one, man, I'm lit. All right, dudes, what do you think about Tom Phillips and him reporting Microsoft eager to put more of their games on Nintendo's platforms? You already know what's dropping more than likely this um, summer, the Switch Pro. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at obi one Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways, but that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one place. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.